Hello and welcome everyone to the lab view exercises. Today we have another exercise in lab view where we will see how we can count words in lab view like all of the words uh, or numbers uh, by counting how many times they have been appeared in a passage and separately how a uh, word count as a text. So to make this exercise in lab view, this is very a quite simple exercise. So we will first begin as usual with a new VI. So let's just open it, the front panel and the block diagram. So our first method is a quite simple one in which we will use some string functions in here. So for that purpose, I will start from a while loop and then I have to define an input string. So for input string, I will go to silver and there I will find out some string control. So here I have a string control which I can st state as input string. So here I can write all of my text and uh, now if I just go back to my block diagram here I can use a string function which is match which is called as match pattern function in this function I will attach my input string and then I will attach the output of after substring with my while loop and make and uh, replace it the node with the shift register so that it will rotate uh, and uh, um, and compare each element or each uh, text within the string so for the comparison i will use a constant a space constant which is means by this will only compare a space it means that we want to count the words so as many times as the space uh, uh, will be appeared there will be all the words that will be counted so for that purpose now we will have to stop the loop when all the word countings will be completed so for that purpose i will use an equals to sign and uh, if uh, the offset past match becomes equals to constant minus one then uh, the while loop will go st stop and the iteration terminal will tell us how many words have been counted in here so if i just attach the uh, iteration terminal to my while loop and then if i just add a plus one in here so that it will tell me exactly how many words have been appeared in my text so this will be most probably be telling us how many uh, words are there so i can write in here as word count so now if i run my program and see if it works or not so let's just say that let's just increase its font size let's just say 24 and here let me write it and now if i run my program it is stating that i have four words written in here but there is a little problem in here if i use some spaces at the start or at the end it will tell me there are more word count uh, uh, although on the other side we have the same word count so to remove this problem, we can add a uh, trimming white spaces function in lab view by just deleting this <coughs> and then attaching it out in here by removing broken wires and creating a constant which will be showing that at the both ends it will trim the space so now if i just run my program it again saying that either i will use any uh, spaces at the end or at the uh, start it will telling me that there the word count is just four 
and similarly what if i want to uh, count the whole length or all the hits in lab view so only the words will only the letters or alphabets will be count counted to do this we need to use an other string function named as we can say that search and replace string and in this function we can just take it out from here and attach and we can search the string constant and replace it with nothing so that all the elements uh, all the spaces will be removed as for the replace all create a constant true and uh, as for the resulting string we can use a function as string length and then after attaching it we can create an indicator and this will be the total hit total hits without spaces so let's just increase its size as well all right so now if i run my program now it will be telling me the total number of alphabets in here as mentioned let's suppose that l e t m e w r i t e and i t will have been total hits will be 12 if we want to count the spaces then we can just attach make all of this function again and we'll attach this string initially on the initial string instead of adding these streaming white spaces but there are still some limitations like as i have shown you earlier we cannot count it or we have to make some more functions uh, to count it uh, like the each repetition if the me function is repeated or it function is repeated how many times uh, in a text in here. now if i just now we can use an other function in here which are named as which we can found as mapping function which we can go back and um, again delete this uh, all instead of deleting this out we will just delete all the inside functions in here and now we can use another function in here named as mapping so again we will just go to while loop and there we will use another string function uh, it is additional string function named as cast string for tokens so we will attach the input string in here and here we have offset pass match so again we will just give it iterations or replace it with shift register and give the initial condition as zero and after that we can also use all the alphabets to lowercase like this way and then there is a special thing that we will be using is the in placement structure so this in placement structure we will create and map get value replaced so we will just attach it out in here and then we will create an action which is a constant modify entry only to replace with add or modify entry and after that we will attach a, an increment function in here and then we will attach it with our value so after attaching it with the while loop outside we can again replace it with the shift register mode here and uh, the input will be attached in here and we will create a constant so that there will be all the elements or the strings subjects will be accounted as uh, numerics 
convert it to numerics that how many what is the size of the string and uh, finally now the next thing is we want to stop this while loop so to stop this while loop we can make a condition as if the offset pass match is less than or equals to zero or oh, sorry less than zero then it shall go stop now we want to count the words so i will use an indicator in here create an indicator which is known as mapping map function it will show me the size so we can just remove the word count in here so if i have to select this out <clears throat> so now if i let's just say that <clears throat> So now if I run my program it is showing me it is appeared in one time, let is appeared one time, me is appeared one and right is again one. If I just uh, write something else, <clears throat> write something else, again it is showing me that right is appeared two times, else is appeared one, it is appeared one time, let is again one appeared one time. Or similarly we can just go increase further out and the size will be shown in here and uh, what if we want to remove something from this map like how many times we want to remove the and the functions are functions and and alphabets we want to remove all these uh, vowels and or something like the r uh, and n so for that purpose what we need to do is we will use again a for loop in here and we must have to define what are the things that we want to remove from this input string so for that purpose i will use an empty array to define words to remove so I will use a string control in here and there I will define the R and N such as so I will just <coughs> place it in here and now I will connect it with the for loop and uh, this will define how many times the loop should I create which means that if there are three um, strings controls in here then that many times the for loop will iterate so now we can just add in here and um, here we can use a map function which is map and remove from the map replace it with the shift register connect that with the input and especially the output will be connected exactly like this way so now we can just delete this wire from here remove the broken wire and connect the map at the end of this it is giving me still an error so it I have to just give it a key which will be connected from here and now if I go back to my front panel and run my program it is now just ignoring the R and N and telling me what is the size without these alphabets or the and R and N and uh, so from here if we want to uh, convert this map into a simple string function we can do it as well so for that purpose we will just go back to our block diagram and uh, place a for loop in here and connect the map output with our for loop after which we will use an unbundle function which will give us basically the words and the numbers after that we will use um, 
form it into a string function where we will attach it out in here and um, add a parameter and add our counted words and then what we will do is we will attach the output with our for loop and replace it with the shift register where i will just uh, give it as an input and our initial should be something empty string like this the empty string constant which will be attached in here and uh, now we will also have need to define the format of the string otherwise the string will be giving us something not understandable so if i run my program right now it is just giving me a string but else is one and it is also one but it is not understandable so i have to just give a string format if i create a constant in here giving a percentage sample and then i and then percentage and decimal and then uh, invert slash and then give it a new line so now if i run the program again i will see that else is appearing one time it is one time that is also one time so what will be the size again so to find out this size to split the size from this into a simpler form we may just it is quite a simple thing we may just connect it with the outer for loop again and there we will go to our uh, array size connect it with array size and create an indicator in here so the size again if i run my program again it is showing me the size is six so that's how we just uh, find out how we can make a program of um, finding and counting how many words or letters or we can say hits have been appeared in our text